today we're going to go over the proper techniques to uh, restrain a cat during evaluation. So um, there's different procedures that we're going to perform through our uh, evaluation. It'll be a microchip uh, implant, uh, blood draw, and then uh, vaccinations. So let me get Gandalf out. Now, it is important when restraining, especially for the blood draw, we will need to have a light scruff on them. Now, um, you never ever scruff an animal without supporting their body. Now, Gandalf's a good boy, so he does not require a scruff right now. Here you go, buddy. So when restraining um, for the microchip implant, you are going to lightly hold his head and support his body. And he's uh, very uncomfortable right now because it's a slick surface. But uh, like I said, again, a light scruff. And cats are going to be a little particular about some of these procedures. So you need to go slow with them. You know, get him comfortable. Okay. Are you ready for this? Okay, let's try again. And then again, wipe scruff here, and then the tech can per um, perform the procedure. Okay? So that is for the microchip implant. So uh, these guys will also get oral medication. <laughs> You're so sweet. And uh, we will have to look at uh, their physical exam as well. So the tech will handle all of that. There's very light restraint uh, involved with that. When um, we're doing vaccinations, rabies is going to go uh, sub-Q in the right hip, and then FERCP will go sub-Q in the left hip. So again, it doesn't have to be huge, just a light restraint. And, the, and you can also protect their body, just kind of hold them with this elbow. I'm not <laughs> holding him very hard. Um, and then, you know, make it as comfortable as possible for him. Give him love. Good boy. Good job. You're so tough, huh? So this is the more um, difficult restraint uh, technique is when you're drawing blood, and especially on these big guys. And Gandalf, he's a, he's a big boy. He doesn't have much of a scruff to hold on to. So it's important that you have complete control over his whole body. So um, again, very light scruff. Always support the cat whenever you're scruffing them. Do not ever hold them up in a scruff. That's just inhumane. Um, so I'm going to grab him in case he's going to help me. Just lay him down. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. And then I'm going to hold off, hold the tail, and then I'm going to hold him straight against my forearm here, and she's going to draw blood that way. And so you're pressing in. Um, the inner thigh, and that's going to pop that vein up. Shake. It's okay. We can stop. Um, that that technique is going to take a lot of practice, but um, it, it's really practical practice. See, let's stop here. <laughs> so that was a very accurate representation of how a cat's going to act whenever you try to uh, draw blood on them. Some of them are really good about it, but some of them are going to be very mobile. So it's going to take practice. And um, you know the the tech can definitely work with you, but the important part is to keep these guys as stress free as possible. Now they're always going to be stressed, of course, because they don't understand what's going on. But uh, if they become too stressed, you need to stop, like, and then come back to them whenever uh, they've de decompressed a little bit. So, uh, thank you. That's it.